Hey, welcome to episode two, beginning all of the studio sessions. Hopefully you enjoyed episode one, because you're here in episode two. So this week, we're really uh, beginning all of the studio sessions. Yeah, this is actually the first week we're starting, getting in the studio with different producers. And we got two sessions happening at all times. One is at the TA studio in uh, Koreatown, and then the other session is happening right here at the crib at the same time. So there's always two sessions going. Yeah, it's, it should be interesting. No room to breathe, but fuck it. <laughs> So, how are you feeling going into your first session? As I was walking out, I was literally like, I feel like I'm going to school! <laughs> for safe school? Yeah, it is for safe school, like really actually. Yeah, so that was actually my first time to make a song inside my room with a microphone and a towel, like literally. And um, the next time that I was in the studio was for Losing a Grip with Marcus Davis. Aside from that, I don't have like much studio experience. So honestly, I was really nervous getting into this first studio session in LA. <laughs> Yo, Job. So the horse was here before, uh -huh. right? Why? Why are we moving it? <laughs> make the setup look dope. So wait, what are we setting up right now? Um, our podcast station. Uh -huh. What we're doing is uh, put the horse behind this couch. We'll slap a huge Harris logo on this horse. <laughs> nice. Yes, that's it. That's the vibe. Yeah. One big red horse. Nice. It's out of um. It's all of us just missing red horse. So. That's true. That's yeah. true. Hold up. Liza, what are you guys cooking? Um, there. It's like a chicken and broccoli stir fry. I don't have a name for it. Um, and right now we're cooking the sauce. Okay, so in the sauce it's um chicken broth. Okay. And then coconut amino. And then I have to put in three um, tablespoons of lime juice, some sesame oil, some salt, pepper, gar fresh garlic, and fresh ginger. I heard earlier you guys mentioned something about one of the garlic sprouting. Yes. Oh, yeah. What so. Apparently, if you leave garlic in the fridge too long, it starts to grow. In the you, fridge? Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. even need water or anything. What? You just yeah. leave it in there? Like, it's just in the fridge, like uh -huh. in the freezer area where the vegetables go. Uh -huh. It just starts sprouting. I did leave garlic in my fridge one time. I just didn't use it. And um, yeah, it decided to grow just by itself, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm making scientific discoveries in my tiny apartment. Now you have unlimited garlic. Yep, yeah. Right? That's what I said. I was like, this is a hack. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, guys? So, what, are you, what are you guys doing? We're cooking up something. <laughs> We're not cooking. We're cooking, We're cooking something up here. Yeah. I'm currently working on the creative process of my song, Fall Back with Careless. I'm very excited. Today, me and Kimmy got together and we worked on the creative process of the song and the video and how styling and vision is going to look. Kimmy's very talented at what she does, so I'm pretty sure she's going to get the job done. Every single time you hit me up with a new excuse Wink. I cannot wink. <laughs> I'm in the splash zone. <laughs> I'm in the splash zone right now. Liza, this is so good. Thank you. Thank you. Do you make stuff like this all the time? Yeah. I cook a lot at home for like big fa a big family, so I'm used mm. to it. Was there ever a time like recently where you just totally screwed up everything? It's never been horrible, but it didn't go as planned. But you were able to fix it? Yeah, I feel like I have it. Okay. <laughs> or maybe people are just too nice to tell me that <laughs> it doesn't taste good. 
We're looking for a couple of directors. I'll, uh, we're gonna meet with Erin again to see if she's um, she's down. She's Thursday, right? Mm, Thursday, eleven. Um, part of what I do is I work with Manila a lot because there's a lot of ongoing projects in the Philippines still. Being here in LA, sometimes to get stuff because you know the time difference is the biggest obstacle. It gets tough, but we're making it work. So like 45 minutes, I have a call with Subo Mercado. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to float the Latron thing. Just, or just get them to set up first. Okay. Yeah. It's a man of Cebu. Latron's important. So we're trying to set up the podcast, and Job and I have been at this all day, and we can't figure out why some of these aren't working. And I don't use this kind of stuff, so this is my first time. But Leisha is... Luckily here, and she's helping us fix it all. She's her official title is actually tech support at Careless. Wow. At um, least it's not rice washer. <laughs> rice washer. <laughs> I got a promotion from rice washer to tech support. Let's go. <laughs> My first um, name here was rice washer because I I washed the rice. Mm -hmm. Now I'm tech support. <laughs> That's an upgrade, right? Yeah, it's a really good upgrade. It makes me look smart. Well, many people don't actually know about me. I'm very, you know, techy. I love to just tinker around with technology. And at home, I have my whole room voice activated. Turn off my grow lights. Sure, turning the grow lights off. See? So yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm very geeky, nerdy, and all that techy stuff. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. I'm kind of weird. Nice. Oh. Oh. You make this stuff for yourself all the time? Um, not really. Yes. <laughs> when I have time. I do love my veggies and I love eggs. I literally just had them this morning. You can check my bowl. Let's go. What's the plan today? Um, do you eat a fruity or vegetable? It's good. What's up? Look at this. Freaking granola Sweaty. bars. <laughs> Well, just remember, if you guys yeah. need stuff, you got like six assistants down here, so just give us a <laughs> ring. We'll, we'll bring you know. food, we'll bring you <laughs> drinks, <laughs> whatever. Uh, should we set up? Yep. Just Is make dope shit, guys. Make some dope shit. All right, yeah. sounds good. I want to experiment today. Let's make some weird shit. Yeah. Is it just us two, or is there someone else coming? Uh, one more. Her name's Anna. Yeah, that's nice. I wanted a fire tattoo, but then I was like, mm, let's do a literal. I'm gonna dragon. Right, that'll make the artistic. Yeah. I love that. That's so beautiful. Mermaid one. Oh, yeah, this one, it swims. Okay, how are you feeling in the studio after this Great. one? Great. And we just finished a song. So it's really productive. And I'm really happy. The song is very, very cool. It's different from my usual, so. I told Antonio a while ago that I wanted to do something different, something I haven't done before, and I think this is the song for that. I think Leisha is probably one of the most talented songwriters in the Philippines. You know, I want to push her a little bit to experiment with bigger melodies, more dynamic chord progressions, things like that. And she always teases me she, whenever she comes home every day. She's so talented, makes a new demo, a new song, takes me on this new sound, and it's going there, pushing towards the melody structure that I'm looking for, and then boom, right back to the HQ Club <laughs> mix songs that she always writes. So that's me kind of freaking out. What's up, Marie? What's up? Uh, can you explain what we're doing right now? Okay, so we've been here in this house about three weeks now, um, and today is our first full day of doing absolutely nothing. Might be a good idea to, yeah, let's do something. Uh, let's have a barbecue. Someone cooked rice and left it in there for four days and the rice cooker has been on since then. This rice that has been cooking for four days. <laughs> James left the rice cooker on for four days. We have it all on video, but he asked us not to, not to publish it. I thought they cooked fried rice. I was like, whoa, we have fried rice in a log. Let's go. And then they told me about the situation. <laughs> we order like hundreds of canned food every week, but we still don't have a can opener. Every day, we stab cans. He's ready for this. Look, he puts knives in food all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm the designated can stabber. Yeah, just because I the grill master. <laughs> Yeah. I've never grilled salt pepper in my life. 
Well, today's the day. Oh, that looks so good. I am meat and music. <laughs> I have two passions in my life. Uh, first one is careless music, and second is meat. Syrup. 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 Thank you for the steak, Jeff. I am just merely the griller. <laughs> so we're shooting TikToks right now. What the fuck? And uh, Luke has unwillingly volunteered to be the hat rack. So today is content day. Yay! Uh, that means this is just an entire day of like actually using this house as like a content TikTok house, whatever the artists want to be doing. We're trying to be those people, but I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of difficult to just get everyone together. Um, it's just a full day of doing that. And it's not just you know, for the purpose of creating content, but also, you know, it's a way for us to bond and things like that. I feel like I can't move, otherwise everything's gonna fall. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. What if we do that in public later? Yeah, it's better in public. Yeah, it's better in public. Yeah, in public. Okay. <laughs> So when we arrived, it was uh, Filipino American Heritage Month. ASCAP, I, I think one of the biggest publishers in uh, music publishers in America, decided to do a daily panel where we could learn from key people, uh, key Filipinos in in the music industry, as well as a songwriting camp to work and make music with other Filipino writers. Um, artists, producers, and some of them I'm very familiar with, like Dela. That's actually right, where I met Dela the first time. Dela produced "Lie to Me" and "Bring Me Back" on Love Scene. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Today is my first vocal lesson. Wow. Over there. This is James. This is James. Hi, I'm James. <laughs> nice to meet you. Don't get run over. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. No, that's closing it. Yeah. Hi. Different. Yeah. Your frequency is fucked up. Hi. Hi. So Nick Cooper is the the coach and owner of VCS, where I was able to take a couple of of lessons. Actually, I wouldn't call them vocal lessons. It's more like vocal therapy. His methods are very different. Really helped me open up my voice and it really changed the way I sang. I'm excited for all the artists to be able to work with Nick and see what happens out of these lessons, therapy sessions. I had to gargle water while Yeah, singing. I was like, what the fuck? You never made I, me do that. You never made me yeah. do that. Did you hear the difference? Yeah, yeah, I felt the difference. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. When I was in the other room, I was like, holy shit, is that Alicia? Yeah. It was interesting, I, I didn't know I was controlling my voice in that way. It just came naturally to me because I'm so used to singing that singing way. That way yeah. yeah. Where are we? At a pizza restaurant in Los Angeles, California. <laughs> on, a, on the log right. <laughs> I'm scared of breaking her bones or something. Okay, okay ready? Set. Go. I'm good. Okay. Go. There you go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, no. Oh. 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 O
That's fun wait. though. I like it. <laughs> It is our Halloween episode. They're so lame. lame. Do you want people to be embarrassed? <laughs> Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. Ew. <laughs>